This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Oh, man. Speaking of a, a man's man, here he comes, mm. Mr. Wonderful. Dude, you've got like a, a badass brigade here, you know, with Rick Rude, Arn Anderson, Mr. Wonderful. Jesus. I know, man. Talent, uh, Benoit. Uh, gee, wow. What? You talk about talent rich. Can you imagine if Mr. Wonderful was your dad? <laughs> God damn it. I told you to cut the fucking grass. Yeah, yes, sir. I mean, nobody's you know, what's interesting though, is, you know, we say that, but at the same time, you and I, you and him had conversations about, uh, shitting in trees, right? Yeah. Right. And he looked at me, he said, you ever walk, I'll tell you the story again. We were in Orlando, we were having sushi and I was talking about all the silly shit I did when I was a kid. And he looked at me and he was serious. He said, do you ever climb a tree and take a shit out of a tree just to watch what it'll look like when it fell out the tree? And I went. <laughs> no. <laughs> and he didn't admit that he did, but you could tell that he did. But then when I laughed about at it, he, you know, he denied it. So the badass brigade continues. Here comes Ron Simmons. Wow. And as we just saw, Paul, uh, is the television champion here. Hey, if you were going to fuck with somebody, would you fuck with Paul Orndorff? Fuck with, uh, Ron Simmons or just end your own life just as a precaution. I think the third choice would be the good one. Now, you know, look, if you go back in time right now and say, well, Simmons is a younger man and, and you, but then again, you go back and you think of that two years later that Vader got his ass kicked by Paul Orndorff. So even though Paul Orndorff was the senior of the two men here, Paul Orndorff was very much an ass kick. I mean, look, any of those old school guys, you know, like Orndorff, like Ole, Gene Anderson, Blackjack Mulligan, uh, w with the exception, maybe Ric Flair, all those old school guys could really kick your ass. It's pretty remarkable to see him have such control of the crowd here. This is the early days of hip hop and you know, Hey, Oh, that shit was fucking terrible. Yeah. But they loved it. Had enough. Well, you know, also he was, uh, he just come off a world title run here too. Right. So yeah, I'm just saying the, the crowd is so with it. Just. We want to swing our arms with Ron Simmons. Yeah, man. Let's swing our arms with Ron. Yeah. And boy, and Orndorff knew how to heal it too. Didn't he? Dude. I just feel like I, he has permanent daddy voice. You know how, whenever sometimes your kids would piss you off and you'd use a certain tone with them and they knew, Oh, dad's fucking serious. Mm. I feel like he just walks around with daddy voice. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I, I do need to bring this up and I'm, I'm probably like a week or two late on this. Did you see that, uh, Dean Silverstein passed away? I did. Oh, uh, the cauliflower alley club. One of the, uh, real hardworking members that, that was heartbreaking to hear that. Now I find it interesting. I've always thought his name was Dean Silverstone, but you called him Steen. Is it Steen? It may be Silverstone. Okay. I think it's, I think it is Silverstone, well, but I, mean, I just caught, I just called him Dean. Yeah. I think everybody knew him as Dean and right. I just, uh, I don't know. I didn't know that you had a relationship with him. I'll be honest. Well, we had talked on the phone like one time and we had texted back and forth and, and emailed and it, it wasn't a, you know, wasn't a buddy, buddy thing, but I knew him. Wait, do you talk and, to him one time? Like when you joined recently? Yes, I sure did. So you just talked to him to join talk, and then weeks later he passes away. Yeah. Well, yeah. It was about a month later he passed away. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of your fault, right? <laughs> no, not even, not even close. Well, let's run I, through this. Do uh, you think you were the most recent member of the cauliflower alley club? Uh, yeah, I have a feeling I am. And then do you think that was like his life's work? Like he just wanted to get you to sign up. And then no, I don't think it was like that at all. His work was done. No, I don't think it was like that at all. What I do think though, is that you're full of shit motherfucker. Wait, what, what, what did I do? Here's okay. what I know. You're you trying to connect me. The Dean's death. And you shouldn't do that. I started out by really sincerely uh, giving my condolences to his family for his passing for all the work he's done for the cauliflower alley club. And all of a sudden you wanted me to blame me for his death. Well, because you were the person who talked to him most recently. Well, no, maybe not. Maybe, maybe Brian Blair talked with him. I don't know. Maybe Paul Orndorff talked to him. I don't know. You know, maybe Jim Ross talked to him. I don't know. Anyway, back to the match. 
Well, you could twist some shit around your. Why are you upset with me, Tony? You joined. You're a member. Yes. Do you need me to let me email Dean and see if I can get your money back? He's dead. Oh. Stop it. Why are you mad at me? What did I do now? Okay. I've just, uh, Paula, Paula, Paula. I'm going to tell you now, you better stop that because he may not be in the best health, but he will drive to your house and fuck you up right now. And he doesn't live that far from me either. So, so uh, chat me up. Why, Why are you so upset with me today? What did I do now? No. Yeah. I just. I'm just having fun here. We have fun on the show. Big crossbody block. Oh my God. Oh, and a two count. Speak for yourself. This shit's not fun. <laughs> every, this is not it, fun. No, every week I tune in hoping that I'm going to get more information on my six man belt. And every wow. week I hang up just more disappointed than the prior you, week. You, when it comes to that belt, you're one miserable fuck. You know that? Well, you, you promised me something and now you're not delivering it. Yeah, you really are. Well, why, why are you fussing Tony? Uh, do I owe you a six man belt? No. Are you upset because I owe you a belt? No. Cause if it's like you owe me a belt and you should shut the fuck up and get in the goddamn mattock and get it. Mm, okay. I'll do my best. Okay. What do I ask for really? All I ask is that you deliver on your promises. Okay. That, the promise was that if I find it, you can have it. Oh, Jesus. That was, that was the promise. That's okay. I'm going to pull the tape. Oh, don't pull Matt Coon, go pull the tape. Oh, listen, Matt Coon is your, is your fat blow boy. He'll do whatever you say. Whoa, 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 and he'll, whoa, 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 okay. Whoa. And, and he will, and not only that, he will, he will probably, uh, do a dupe tape. Let me, let me ask you this. He'll probably edit some words together to make me sound like I said something I really didn't say. You he'll think do we, a dupe tape. You think with all the dumb shit I've made you say on this show, you think I need a dupe tape to make that happen? Probably not. <laughs> no, of course not. I don't need a dupe tape. I do like the way you pronounce that. But let, let me, let's talk about a real problem that you've got. Uh, All right. And, and that's, I'm really glad that, that you're, we're having it. We're in the midst of a hell of a match here. Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff against, uh, Ron Simmons. I think it's TV title here, isn't it? Uh, who cares? Okay. Um, you, you just called Matt Coon fat. Mm. Did I? You sure? You said fat blow boy. Again, that's probably a du- on a dupe tape you heard somewhere. We're going to set aside the, the blow boy phrase for a minute. I mean, there's a lot to unpack on that for another episode, but fat, you, you have recently started to really start body shaming, which is pretty remarkable from somebody who two years ago, couldn't touch their toes. Right. Yeah, that's the way it is. Oh, he missed the shoulder block. Conrad. He missed the big shoulder block. Could have won the belt there, but he missed it. Hit his head. Hurting. Where's Paul Orndorff? Where here? What? What? Where? What? Hey, get the camera shot on Orndorff. Oh, there you go. Came off with the knee. Hey, we're missing a good match here. All right, I'll let you call it. No, I'm gonna call it. Just talking to you. We're missing a good match here, and you're talking about Matt Coon. You brought him up. No, you did. You said, "Hey, he's your fat blow boy." That's no, hurt. you said, "I'm gonna have Matt Coon come and pull out the tape." And make a dupe tape of you a saying something tape. you really didn't say. By the way, we should mention that uh, before Paul Orndorff was the, uh, or Paul Orndorff is the champ here only since March. So he's only had it for a month and change. And the reason he's got it is because he won a tournament mm-hmm. beating Eric Watts. Yes. And the show actually airs about a month prior to this, but the reason they needed a tournament is because Scott Steiner was the television champ and he left for the WWF. Hmm. So Scott Steiner's TV title is now owned by Dave Milliken. Steve Austin would have held it as would have, uh, Ricky steamboat. And the other one that I think, um, Steve Austin holds or, or wound up with. Is uh is the one that Orndorff sporting here today? Because the Orndorff one here, uh, one's gold and one's like nickel, and that one is the one that was used in a Stuck Mojo video. And they wound up uh that by the way that's Chris Jericho's old band, which is now Fozzie, right? And they wound up loaning them some belts to use in a shoot. And, uh, for, you know, for a music video or whatever. And then he wound up giving it to, uh, to Steve Austin. Huh? Sleeper sleeper. 
Let me just tell you, this is one of the things I hated about wrestling from this era. What? I don't know. Just the sleeper. You didn't. Oh yeah. You don't, you don't like sleeper and you don't like the claw the the worst. The claw, the claw and the bear hug are the worst. Those are one and two, but number three is the sleeper. Don't get me wrong. Um, I do like the sleeper on occasion when it's well done, but when it feels like it's just a, a forever long spot and it's not a finish, I don't like it as much, but like million dollar dream and the way Hulk Hogan would have to Hulk out of it and shit like that. That was, that could be good. Okay. I got you. Pee-wee, I'm with you. Pee Wee Anderson. Where is he in your all time ref list? Well, uh, I thought he was one of the better ones. And, uh, have you talked to Arn Anderson about him? Uh, no, I mean, yeah, maybe probably, I don't know what well, he, he and Arn were buddies from Rome, Georgia. Oh yeah. Yeah. I knew that. You told me that. Here right. And then of course, Pee Wee, uh, then, you know, it's since passed away after WCW went down and I don't know exactly the timeline from when, when WCW went down to when he died. Were you the last person to talk to him too? No, I was not. Can I finish this story? Sorry. Okay. And so I, I have was talking to Arn about him and I, I think Arn and he ended on uh, bad terms, which kind of always surprised me because I thought they were very close. So Arn ends on bad terms with a lot of people. Not me. I think, I think eventually Arn gets enough of the bullshit and you're just dead to Arn forever. So I better mind my fucking P's and Q's. You damn right. You better do that. Cause Arn's not like me. I put up with shit and still like you. Oh, we know we've met Lois. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What? You know, she's in the room here with me. Well, great. Get her on mic. Let's do something. No, no, she's. Did you give her one of those shits that drive her up the wall yet? (laughs) We've been talking about that on the show for a few weeks. I'm wondering when you're going to pull the trigger and send selfies of you going up and down. No. Figure it can't be much longer since you got that sweet, sweet con money. No, stop it. Uh, Back body. This is a hell of this hell of a competitive match here. Cool. Six forty-five seconds ago, they're going to go to the time limit draw. Power slam out of one, two, no, sir. And he goes down, and Ron Simmons is after him. We're going to have a time limit six, uh, whatever, twenty, ten minute, fifteen minute time limit draw. Hey, let me let me make a pitch here. Okay, pitch it. I think you need some underwear. It says Mister Wonderful on the butt cheeks like that. I think that'd be where, where would you, where would you get that? Would we have Ryan Barkham make that for us at pro wrestling tees and lowest rules.com without question, but mm-hmm. you rocking that as underwear around the house mm-hmm. in front of Lois. Oh, but it, how about instead of on the butt cheek on the uh, package? Well, just I'm, an idea, you know? Okay. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What okay. the hell? I said, okay. That's Colonel Parker. Oh, but damn. Track and Ron it. Simmons is going to win it. Track it. But since he did not win in the first 10 minutes, Mr. Wonderful Paul Oydorf is still the world television champion. Now- Swerve. So since he didn't win in the first 10 minutes, Paul Orndorff retains the championship. You've got to beat the TV champ in the first 10 minutes if you want to win the belt. So a nice way to let the, let the fans know that, Hey, he could have done it. He just needs another crack at it and he'll get it done in 10 minutes that time. How about the, the, the skivvies that Orndorff's wearing underneath his tights? Mm -hmm. What do you think that was? Do you think that's Superman underwear? Mm, Uh, no, it's probably, uh, Daredevil underwear. He was a Daredevil comic book fan. Wait, Paul Orndorff read like comic books? Oh, yeah. Oh, God damn. You just ruined him forever for me. There's nothing wrong with comic books. Okay. I just thought he's this fucking badass. Now he's over there whacking off to Aquaman. As a matter of fact, you know what I, what I, what I would love? I would, lo- I would love a comic book with me with a cape on. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.